Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is LittleCornDogs, and in today's video, we are playing Scrap Mechanic Creative. Now, um, this is all vanilla, and um, yeah, it's just a very simple car, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build. Um, it has suspension glitch turning, it is amazing, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that in about two seconds, but I just wanted to say, I'm so sorry for lagging and not posting, I've been a little bit sick, as you guys can probably tell by the sound of my voice. Anyways, that's enough talking. Let's get this video started. All right, you guys, let's get started. So we are using a concrete. What is this? A concrete block to a bearing, uh, angled piece, uh, driver seat, suspension, small suspension, level five, uh, plastic block, and a gas engine. You can use an electric engine if you want, but it's just very torquey and uh, doesn't really work all that well. So. Anyways, uh, I like using the metal or concrete block five, whatever it is, um, because I think it 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 helps with stability. Um, it keeps the like bottom half of your car just like all together. So, anyways, let's do this. I'm thinking a little truck. That's what I'm thinking. So, let's start building that. Um, of course, a truck has the seat more or less in the, in the front of the car than the back. So let's uh, build off this back half here, probably like two blocks. That's about good. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, let's just get started. So um, now that that's there, actually, I don't want metal on the side. I want plastic. The reason why we have plastic is because it's a lot lighter than uh, the concrete or metal. I don't know why I'm getting confused on which one it is. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and raise that up. Um, and then, of course, if you want to hide the suspension, you can, but I'm going to leave it open so that, uh, you know, you guys can see, like, how it all works. Um, I hope this is centered. It is not. Let's do that again. Right here. Okay. So, uh, this video is not going to really be, like, very um, cut, cut, cut video, you know? Um, really edited. It's just going to have, uh, like, this raw footage of... Oh, can't really do that, can I? Uh, raw footage of just me building a simple car. Um, this is... I'm not expecting a lot of views on this, but um, I think a lot of people get confused um, when they're starting out in this game. So, I want to I wanna help with that. So, um, usually, you'd have to have a different type of turning, um, but I like doing suspension glitches. Um, and a different type of turning, I mean like a real car. So, man, we're not a real car. We're in a video game. If there's a better way to do something, we're gonna do it. So, um, oh, we might need wheels. Huh, there we go, okay. So, let's put the wheels on. <clears throat> and, Right there. Now, this is not going to look amazing. It looks like a uh, little Minecraft car or something. It looks like garbage right now. But that's okay. We learn, don't we? This is just the basics. This is how uh, we uh, play the game. It's just very simple things. Also, I did not make this front half big enough. So, actually, we'll save that for these cool angled pieces um, in a little bit. You know, we can do something like this, I guess. I don't know. Maybe we can put some headlights on these top corners here. Okay, I missed it. There we go. And then we can cover it up. Maybe put a grill there with uh, one of these blocks, you know, stripe net block. Anyways, simple truck, you guys. Nothing crazy, just something very easy. So you guys understand how this game works. So, I don't even know if I'm going to put a roof on it, to be honest with you. Um, now that that's there, we have somewhat of the basics. Let's connect the engine to the seat. There we go. And then we connect the engine to all the bearings. There you go. There you go. Make sure they're spinning the right way as well. See how this one's going that way? Which means when you go forward, it'll go backwards. When you go backwards, it'll go forward. So we flip it by right-clicking it. And then we flip that one and that one. Usually everything on the left side of the car will be opposite. So yeah, we have to flip it like that. Anyways, let's turn up the engine. Make sure it's connected to the seat as well. That's good. And then, I think we have a car, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, turn up the suspension here. 
Um, clearly it's a little heavy. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. So it's connected. When we click W, we start going forward. Dang, and that engine sounds cool. But you're like, um, it's not turning. How do you turn? Good question. Let's do that. Because I need to save this for the last part. Um, a lot of a lot of people get confused with suspension glitches. So let's make them not confused. Let's do it very simple. Um, I wish that there were videos like this when I started playing Scrap Mechanic, but there just weren't, um, which was unfortunate. So um, I put that block there so the thing's not under. But based off of where your seat is, is where you want to put suspension glitches. Um, of course, if you want like a drift car, then you want them all the way in the back. Um, anyways, I'll just show you how I do it. Um, so we can see gener generally where the seat is. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I can actually use that, which will be good. Okay, cool. Let's do that. So um, you can only do one. You don't have to do two, but I like doing two, so the turning's even better. Um, now, of course, you don't want this thing covered in suspension glitches because then it will just not really drive right. It'll be very laggy and very glitchy. You don't want that in Scrap Mechanic. Um, so there and there. Sorry, I should have been talking and explaining how I do this. So um, that's your that's your seat right up there. Um, see the seat and then you uh, put a bearing on there now that you have a bearing on there you want to put a block and then you want to put the suspension there and then when you put this block down make sure to put it on the suspension and not like on here or on there or on like don't connect it here or any, you know just connect it onto the suspension here because a lot of people say oh my suspension Glitch turning isn't working. That is why. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's connect that and that. These are the bearings. So you connected the bearings to the seat. Um, we might need to flip these because it's probably going the wrong way. So let me flip them. I'm probably wrong too. But let's find out. Uh, we could probably take this off now because we don't really need anything else. So left and right. There we go. Okay, so now that's suspension glitch turning. We have forward, and then the cool thing about suspension glitch turning is like you can just turn in midair. Do you guys see that? Pretty cool. I don't know. Normal turning in this game, you can't really do that. So, um, also, if you haven't seen any of my simple flyers videos, um, I use the same exact type of turning for all the flyers. So, anyways, that's the simple truck. Let me make this thing look um, cool, <laughs> and then I'll come back to you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we are back. <laughs> so I was building this thing and I'm like, wow, it really looks like a little minion car. So that's exactly what I built. I painted it like a little minion, you know? I thought it was kind of cute. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm not saying uh, it looks cool, but I'm saying it does look kind of cute. It looks pretty funny, you know what I mean? Uh, of course, you can make this thing ginormous and uh, it probably wouldn't look all that cute anymore and look kind of terrifying so if you wanted to do that you definitely could again you just add bigger wheels um, don't really use big suspension big suspensions kind of always oof, doesn't really work all that well but I mean you're still gonna smoke your friends in a frickin' drag race I mean this little minion car is pretty pretty quick for a little tiny truck but uh, you could probably do some more tricks than half of your friends anyways as you uh, as you drive this thing so um yeah i mean that's basically it for this video you guys something very simple um not too hard again um i made a video about simple flyers um that plane was the same kind of thing just something very simple something very easy not too hard to make and uh yeah it's just it works out pretty good um i would recommend just starting off with something small i know something like uh this looks awesome and looks very cool but at the same time it's just like it's not gonna be all that cool if it doesn't really work you know what I mean so um, stick to something small in the beginning learn how to do it um, that's why I'm making all these videos you'll have a lot of fun I promise um, anyways 
that's basically it for today's video you guys something very simple for you um, if you want to see anything else um, comment it down below and I will make it in the next video all right see you later